everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, we're going to look at weathering. So first of all, let's get acquainted with this keyword then. So weathering is a physical process, a natural process, that is the breaking down of rock where it is located. So that could be within a river system or drainage basin, or it could be along the coastline. Now, there are two types of weathering. The first is known as chemical weathering. And chemical weathering involves a chemical reaction, usually involving rainwater or seawater hitting the rock and beginning to break it down. Now, there are three main types of chemical weathering. So the first type is known as carbonation weathering. And this is when we have carbonic acid in rainwater reacting with the calcium carbonate in limestone specifically to form calcium bicarbonate. So this is a soluble and what that means is limestone is then carried away in the transportation process of solution. Then our second type of chemical weathering process is known as hydrolysis. And this is where we have acidic rainwater or acid rain breaking down the rock and causing it to rot. And then the third type of chemical weathering is known as oxidation. And this is where the rock is actually broken down by the oxygen and water. And what you will notice on the screen in front of you are four images where a type of chemical weathering has taken place to make magnificent patterns and, and features within the rock and the landscape. So that's one type of weathering. Now let's look at mechanical weathering, which is the second type of weathering that takes place. So when we talk about mechanical weathering, we're talking about a physical change in the rock where the rock has actually been disintegrated or broken down rather than decomposed or worn away by a chemical change. So over time, you would be able to see cracks appearing, for example, in the rock to show it is mechanically changing. So let's have a look at freeze-thaw weathering to start with. Now, freeze-thaw weathering happens when the temperature alternates or changes above and below zero degrees, also known as the freezing point of water. And any rock that has cracks already existing within it will allow water to get into those cracks. And this could be from rainwater, it could be from the sea. Now, when this water then freezes and hits zero degrees, the water will expand, turning from a liquid into a solid, which will put pressure on the rock. Eventually, the water will warm up again above freezing point and thaw out and evaporate. And as it contracts and thaws, it will release that pressure on the rock. And over time, this repeated process of freezing and thawing widens the cracks and causes the rock to break up into smaller fragments. Now, the second type of mechanical weathering is known as salt weathering, and this involves salt spray from the sea. So again, we start off with our rock, and this time we have seawater actually spraying and getting into the cracks of the rock. Now, as this is salt water, when salt water evaporates, it will crystallize, and these crystals will continue to put pressure on the surrounding rock. It will eventually join up with larger particles of crystals and expand over time, weakening the structure of the rock and forming it to break up into smaller fragments. So that concludes the different types of weathering that happens along the coastline and also within river drainage basins. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.